All right, everybody. I got something really big here that I've been looking for for a long time. This is the Ace Novelty Foam Chair. It may not look like much, but it is very rare, especially in this condition. It's a very good condition. Um, the reason that you don't find it in very good condition is the it's basically just a foam block that they stretched this over. I mean, I could take pretty much this whole thing apart, and the backing comes apart. I mean, the, the backing's part of the chair. You can feel that it doesn't have a um, a separation. So you could actually take this whole part off. Um, these were probably pretty roughly played with. My four-year-old fits perfectly in it, and I'm pretty sure if I let him sit in it any longer, he would destroy it. Just one of those things. It's not um, meant to be... Well, <laughs> it is meant to be played with and sat in, but um, not for long periods of time, and it lasts maybe about, I don't know. This would probably last a couple of weeks in my house, the way my boys play. They play pretty rough. Um, the other reason it's kind of not uh, going to last very long is the design here. Mario's face, you can tell it's its flat, um, and the ears are just kind of tacked on, but this um, right here attracts a lot of fuzz, but it's right where your head goes. Um, so you're going to have, I don't know, little fuzzes. Little fuzzes are still on his mustache. And they kind of come off. And um, So to have this in good condition is really rare. Um, got it off of eBay if you want to know. It was pretty expensive. But uh, totally worth the price in my opinion. Because it is very rare to find. Um, there is a picture on an Ace Novelty catalog. Now Ace Novelty made the clip-ons and the pins and a couple of other, like the keychains and a couple of other things way back in like 80, 88, 89. They were one of the first companies to get the Mario license. So um, there is a brochure that has a Luigi version of these. I've never seen it. Never ever. Um, they may not have produced it, but I've never got any confirmation. If you know of anybody that has the Luigi version or had it, I'd like to know. Um, but I don't think they ever released it. It was Luigi in his um, white overalls and green shirt. Kind of like the shampoo. They also did the shampoo. So there you go. There's Mario. There's a couple of uh, loose threads on here. And that isn't due to age. It's just due to how it was made. Um, and you can tell that the... Uh, I'm messing with this right now. The inside of here, it doesn't quite fit. The fabric's a little bit tight right here. So when you sit down, it would stretch the fabric and ultimately may rip. Um, just a lot of things wrong with this plush chair, foam chair thing. Um, but I'm glad I have one that survived the ages. Uh, eventually, I'm getting a big plush that will sit in this chair just for maximum Mario craziness. Uh, so there you go, the Ace Novelty chair. Um, not a whole lot else to talk about. It is a really nice item, uh, despite being... I don't want to say shoddily made, because it's a really nice piece. It's just not meant to be um, <laughs> used by kids, which is what it was designed for. So I guess it kind of is shoddily made, because it doesn't live up to how kids would use it. Um, the rough day in, day out of 1980s kids, which was me. If I had this, I, mine would not have survived. The other thing I see a lot in these plushes is mildew. Uh, mine must have escaped that. Um, you can even see, like, the elastic band around it. Um, they didn't give a lot of attention to it. This this isn't frayed or damaged. It's just how they, like, stapled it together. It's sewed in to the bottom, but not with a whole lot of care. And then the, you know, the exposed foam and all that picks up a lot of junk. So, yeah, I wish it was better made, but it's just, I don't know, it looks really cool. How's that? Um, and I've been after it for a really, really long time. It's been on my wish list for ages. So I'm glad I finally found one at a good price, because uh, some of them on eBay have been outrageous. No one should pay a grand for this, okay? There's one on eBay that's, uh, I think it's even up for 15 grand, or 1500 sorry. Um, don't buy that one. Um, I'd say a good price for this would be about $300 or so. Uh, I paid a little bit less than that, but... <clears throat> due to... Uh, of course that's in good condition, because due to age and the uh, workmanship on this product, um, it is extremely rare. So, there you go, Ace Novelty Chair. Thanks for watching.